What's going on guys? It's Mr. F like 9916 and welcome back to the MLB 16 the show road to the show and we are with the New York Mets if you did not watch the last episode we got traded pretty crazy right there uh, to actually be traded finally I asked for the trade and uh, here we are in the Mets if you didn't see it happen uh, go watch the last episode now but facing off in our second game for the Mets uh, we got a save on our first game that was in the last episode as well and in our second game we are in a familiar ballpark actually on the road in Arizona a team that uh, we play a lot being that they're in the NL West we played them a lot when we were on San Diego and it looks like uh, I just can't get away from them they haven't given me too much trouble in the bat. Sometimes they have, sometimes they haven't. But we are going to get a ground out there. And then with the winning run in scoring position, we are just going to walk the batter to try to set up the double play. So we will aim for the double play to get out of the inning. Next batter, he hits it right on the ground. First pitch over to second for one to first. And they get him in time, saving the game. And we move on to the 10th inning. And sure enough, Jack Davis is going to get his second career at bat here in the major leagues. So we get traded to the Mets, and once again, we are batting. Kind of a uh, funny turn of events right there, but looking out over Chase Field in Arizona. I flew over Chase Field uh, last summer. Looked pretty cool. I didn't get to be in the ground in Phoenix. I was only connecting through the airport, but we saw the stadium from the air. Uh, what we didn't see is Jack Davis striking out, but that's what we're going to see right here in this video, and that's all he does. He has two career at-bats and now two strikeouts. All of his hitting stats are just zero, so I mean, you can't really expect him to do much else. 1-0 count after we uh, throw a ball to the first batter in the 10th inning. Then we fall behind 2-1. and one. You can make that 3-1 and one with a sinker low and away. We bring it back to 3-2, trying to strike him out on a curveball, but he just looks at that one. It is just outside or inside the zone, and uh, that'll be ball four. So runner on first. Next batter comes in. 0-1 pitch. He fouls it off. It's going to be now 0-2. We throw a ball. Makes it 1-2, and two, and then he hits it on the ground right side, and that's going to be a base hit. So once again, the winning run is now up to second base. So once again, Arizona trying to challenge us a little bit. Next batter comes in. He's just going to punt it. That'll be fielded by the third baseman. Throw to first. That was a close play for the out, but now the winning run is just 90 feet from home plate and what are we going to do well we're going to do what we did in the last inning we are going to intentionally walk this batter i was seeing who's up next just to make sure it's not some slugger but it's not we are going to intentionally walk this batter his run doesn't matter and now the bases are loaded so we need to do something good here we fall behind in the count all the way to 2 and 0 needing to come back with a strike on 2 0 this one's going to be a changeup that he swings and misses out. I think he was expecting that 2-0 fastball. He got the changeup. Then on 2-1, good curveball. Look at the spotting in the zone by Jack Davis. He just did that perfect. It goes to 2-2, and then he chops this one on the ground. It's going to be another tough throw play behind the back by the shortstop, and we get out of the inning. My, oh, my. What a play to go behind the back. Saves the game yet again, and we go to the 11th inning where we're pitching our third inning now. Go back and look at that play again. I should have put the replay in there, but that was one of the best plays I've ever seen. This Mets defense uh, so far is fantastic, and I will uh, say this. Uh, I've played pretty much to the end of the 2020 season. I haven't quite finished yet, but uh, the, this that's not the last good play you're going to see from the Mets defense. They are fantastic. We do walk another guy. That's now our fifth walk in three innings if you include the intentional walk. So we're really struggling with our command in this game, and finally they decide to take us out. Addison Reed will come in the ballgame in relief of us. Now, Reed is going to be able, as you see right here, to prevent that run from scoring, and the Mets actually win it in a 12th inning, one to nothing. So we don't get the win. I think Addison Reed got it if he stayed in for the save. But, uh, hey, we get two and a third, or just two and a... 10th scoreless innings or something like that. I'll take it. Playing against the uh, Colorado Rockies in our next game. Once again, another NL West team that we uh, have played quite a bit. This team likes to hit a lot of home runs at Coors Field up in Colorado, so we want to keep the ball in the park in this game. We have a three-run lead, so a solo shot wouldn't do too much damage, so at least we can, you know, that's the nice thing about three-run lead. You can kind of come after guys more directly there a little bit, but I'm trying to play it safe at this point. 3-2 count. We're going to come back, trying to strike him out, and it's another ball. So we walk another guy, and in less than three complete innings pitch, that's now six walks, two of which were intentional. Either way, really struggling with our command right now in this episode. 1-1 one, one count to the next batter. He has it down the left side. The third baseman actually makes an error there. That's just so, so much for that good defense. That was one of the few errors they made in uh, the entire couple hours that I spent playing the game yesterday. 
But either way, next batter comes in. We miss low with a sinker. And this is, by the way, the tying run at the plate. So now's where we got to be careful because home run would tie the game. It ends up going to 2-2. Two and two. Boom. 100 mile an hour fastball. We strike Nick Hundley out. And there is one gone. We've set up the double play to get out of this game. Next batter comes in. First pitch is a sinker. He fouls that one off. It's 0-1-1. We're going to follow that sinker up with a pitch low and away. He's going to swing and hit it to right field. This one is to the right fielder pretty much directly. He will just step back a few steps and make the catch. There's now two gone here in the bottom of the ninth inning. So with two out, first pitch to next batter. Good fastball, 99 in there for a strike and we then on one and one we're gonna go low and away he's gonna hit this one to the right side easy play for the second baseman throws to first and we get the save 27th of the year second in our new york mets career and the 115th in our career almost at 30 saves for the year we are just three away which is pretty exciting news to be honest so there you have it the mets get the win next thing for us will be a training session first batter chops it on the ground Throw to first, and we're off to a good start right there. Got 185 points total on that first batter. Then the next batter coming in, we get him to strike out on a full count. That's going to gain us 250 points. So a pretty good start to this session. Five chances left. We have 860 points, and they are going to get a base hit. The run, however, will not score. So we lose a little bit of points right there. If the run scored, we would have lost a lot more, but luckily they don't. We work our way into the bronze medal with three batters left. You need 1,000 points. We get the strikeout. That puts us well over. And now with two over, we are trying to get to that silver medal. We are just there with two chances left. Can we hold on to it? There's a big strikeout right there, and now... We might have a chance at the gold medal. 1460 points, one chance left. Here's the pitch on the ground. Third baseman Fields throws the first. I think you need 1500 for the gold. Are we going to reach it? Is that, in fact, right? Yes, it is. We get over 1600 points. I, you either need 15 or 16. I'm not sure, but we get the gold. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is 400 training points. Honestly, the best thing that happened in this episode. I love when you get those gold medals. You get to improve your player a lot. We're just going to. Kind of pick and choose what we want to add. Everything's so expensive to make better right now because, you know, Jack Davis is already pretty good ratings overall. He's now, look at that, up to an 85 overall in his actual rating. So he's actually starting to become a pretty good professional baseball player. Coming in this next game, look at his ERA, 1.42. He's absolutely on fire this year. Playing against another NL West team, Arizona. We are at home this time, at least, so we finally get to play in an NL East stadium. But still, just... All these NOS teams, I just can't get away from it, right? <laughs> we strike out the first batter. It's nice to finally have a strikeout after all the walks that we've been throwing. Next batter comes in. First pitch to him is just off the corner. We do bring it back to 1-1, one and one, and we follow that pitch up with a fastball at 99. A lot of 99 mile an hour fastballs in this episode. Either way, the count goes to 2-2. Two and two. We strike him out with a 101 mile an hour fastball in the zone. He just can't keep up with that. No one can keep up with that. So two strikeouts trying to strike out the side here. That would be a pretty nice come back to the last few games, which have been a little rocky. We get him down 0-2, trying to end this inning. Here's the pitch, just high with the fastball. Then it goes to 1-2. We're going to try to go low after that high pitch, and boom. Curveball in the zone, hot looking, and we strike out the side. Boom, boom, boom. Strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. Three up, three down, and that is the perfect save, guys. There cannot be a better save than when they don't put a ball into play at all. That is just the perfect inning from Jack Davis. We'll head into our next game, the last game of the episode, our 40th game of the year, keeping that ERA down at 1.38 right now. 38 strikeouts and 39 innings. Pretty fantastic. Playing against Arizona again, we got an 8-5 lead, so pretty safe lead for the Mets, who, by the way, I didn't show in this episode, but in the standings, we are just around 500 right now. We're like 11 games back in the division, though, because Atlanta, believe it or not, is like ridiculously good. Their winning percentage is like in the 600s. So that's kind of frustrating to have that happen as we strike out the first batter here in the bottom of this ninth inning. But um, we're like five games back in the wild card. So we have a chance of making the playoffs, which is something I've not said in ever on this series because the Padres have never had a chance. I don't think we will, but it's possible. Hopefully we will. I think our team ranking is like 10th overall, so hopefully the Mets will be a team that will work out well for Jack Davis. I might stay here if they continue to be competitive once I go into free agency. I know I'll have to play here for three more years after this before I can go into free agency, before I have that MLB service. Uh, maybe only two more years because of the Rule 5 draft, but I guess we'll see. Uh, right now my focus on just on playing the best I can. Finishing up this season, hopefully making the playoffs and getting a big contract for next year. 
Right now, my focus has got to be getting just out of this one game. you got to take it one game at a time, right? I like to look ahead too much, and sometimes I get a little distracted, but one-two pitch, we are going to strike out that batter. Look at that beautiful changeup. What a perfect changeup. That's become a great pitch for us. The Mets all celebrated in the bullpen. They all got that long hair. Jacob DeGrom, Noah Syndergaard. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We got our 29th save of the year for now. We'll see you next time. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Mr. Affleck, 9916. Peace.